sad day. We're gathered here today to mourn the loss of Frongles. Not just to mourn his death, but to celebrate his life. Frongles will be missed by everyone. Will be missed by me. Frongles was a good friend and a damn good clown. His death was an untimely tragedy. What was Frongles? To me, he was a friend. I remember the day we first met. He gave me a flower. It squirted liquid in my face and it burned my eyes. One hell of a practical joke, Frongles. He was the epitome of a clown. He'd move it into every aspect of his life. His hobbies, they included juggling, tumbling, and wearing shoes that were comically large in comparison to the size of his own feet. He died doing what he loved. God, I remember that day. He slipped on a banana peel. And he, and he died right there. And he, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One minute, still going. We learned a lot of lessons from Frongles. Namely, not to do the banana peel joke next to the sword pit. But God, did we learn. All in all, there's a frongles shaped hole in our clown car that can never be filled. Which is admittedly pretty nice. We had to cram 30 clowns into that fucking thing. But God, he'll be missed. He was a friend. He was a clown. Now he's gone. Not a day goes by that I don't think. What would Frongles do? Mostly coke, he did a lot of coke, but <laughs> he left behind some big shoes to fill. Some would say that the shoes are comically large. 